Hello everybody, I'm back with another video and today I'm unboxing my art snacks, the regular box, uh, the, the one for this month, June, and I'm excited for this box because of the spoilers that I saw on their Instagram, so yeah, let's get started. So let's open this up. Alright, so there it is. Here's the menu. And um, everything should be in here. And the candy of the month is a warhead. Extreme sour, watermelon flavor. I will probably try that out. So let's put this to the side. And so this is what it looks like. You know, it always says, show your unboxing with us. So let me get my sketchbook. To a blank page. How do I write this? I was forgetting. Okay. Or it's next. June. 2021. So let's check out the menu and the little joke of the month, which is what do you call a pen that's run out of ink? Let's see what it's a has pen. <laughs> All right, so that's the little joke of the of the week. I mean of the month. So let's get started with um, the first item that they have over here. That's what it is. And it's the Montana Bold Marker in millimeter round nib. It retails for $9.50 and it says, Be brave, fearless, and bold with your uh, bold with your art making. Leave a mark on almost any surface with the Montana Bold Marker. The alcohol-based ultra black ink dries quickly and permanently to a semi-gloss finish. This tool was also built to last. Not only does it have a strong aluminum body, its ink can be refilled and nib can be replaced. That's pretty cool, I like that. Since I'm a big fan of Copics and that's something that I like about them. So I like that this uh, has something like that. So let's open this up. Oh! That's this one. Yo! I mean, it did say 8 millimeters, but I just... This is alcohol-based, permanent ultra ink, water resistant, UV resistant, deep black, high coverage, refillable pump maker, Replaceable tip. Works on almost any surface. Low viscosity for high ink flow. Made in Germany. So this is what it looks like. And I'm pretty sure it's going to you have to shake and then push. Doesn't say right. I'm pretty sure it's like that. Oh, it goes. I have two. All right, so there's. Let's see how it looks. And oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a mark right there on my animatic. Put this. Okay, Loki. I should have done it here because I have like something that I'm working on here. But whatevs. Let's just do this. 
This is how big it is. And you can do marks with different parts of the marker. So I'll see what I do with this. This is exciting. So we'll write down the name right here. Um, let me zoom in. So second, let me put this some background. Second item is the Kurataki Sig Furego Kochi Fine Tip Brush Pen. It retails for three dollars. Explore line variation and weight with the Kurataki Sig Furego Choki uh, Fine Tip Brush Pen. The felt brush tip on this pen is firm yet flexible, which makes it for perfect for illustration or hand lettering. It contains water-based pigment ink that glides smoothly and consistently onto your paper. Uh, paper. So here it is. It's Kuretake and it says Fudego Kochi right here. And everything else in Japanese. Sure is black as well. Lots of black. Oh no, this one's blue. Oh, how dumb. It's right here. Just like a navy. Okay, you could have different line variation with this. So this is like a navy color. So that's our second item. Let's check out the third one. So it is the Dirt Wind Light Fast Color Pencils. Here it is. It retails for four ten each, and they give us two. Meet Dirt Wind's first oil-based color pencils, formulated to be 100% light fast. These pencils' colors won't fade for up to a hundred years under museum conditions. Oh, that's cool. They're extremely vibrant and creamy, which an opaque cool uh, color lay lay down. We've included two colors in your box this month, so you can experiment with mixing and blending. So these are these are my two colors that I got, made in Britain. And here it says one of them is color denim, and the other one platinum. Another blue in this box. I'll see what I do with that. Let's try it out. Let me take this. Since I'm not gonna. So that's the. Was it indigo? No, denim. And this is the plant. So the this is how they blend. Not bad. Right now I really cannot think of what to do. Down. 
right, and the last item, it's right here. And it is on Uniball Signal UM153 white gel pen. 359 retail, as a stop favorite. And it says, our search for the perfect white pen is finally over. The Uniball Signal UM153 white gel pen checks all of the boxes. Super smooth, highly opaque and vivid the arc rival quality ink is resistant to water and fading and it shows up well on both light and dark paper using this pen to add highlights and details to your work all right so hopefully that's true because i've been trying to look for a a good Um, white gel pen so let's see oh yeah oh that's nice and it even works on the on the color pencil I mean it works a lot better on the marker than on the color pencil but this is really impressive i really like that because i have a sakura one and it's all right like i usually use a what's that a posca yeah that's usually what i use because the sakura is not opaque enough for me so that's what i've been using but i see myself using this one instead So all of these let me zoom that out, are me trying out the the supplies. So the main color that I have is this blue, which is the indigo and the navy, which are pretty similar. Well this one doesn't say that it's navy. Or maybe it does here, but I can't I can't read Japanese. Um but yeah, those are the two like that's the main color that I'm using so I'll see what I come up with and I'll work on it here uh, but like always I need to work on it with a voiceover because I cannot draw and talk at the same time <laughs> I need a bigger distraction like a show or anything like that so I'll try that out and yeah, so let me transition to voice over me. So when I had, um, when I was thinking of things to draw, uh, it had to be something that was like mainly blue. So I saw some pictures of blueberries and I thought that was going to be really cool to draw. But then I also um, saw the, like when I was, because I started researching, um, I watch a draw, right? And I would be like, oh, like thick line um, art, so I can get inspired by that. And I came across this artist, he's a tattoo artist, Mattia Mambo, he's Italian, and he basically created these things called this these constructed tattoos. And y'all should look that up because it's it's so it looks so good. So I was kind of inspired like like for that like usually they're outlines it's like the main um thing like i don't know like a pizza or like um a flower or whatever but the outline it's a little bit separated from it you'll have to look it up because it's really cool and i'll leave the guy's um instagram so y'all can check it out right here on the screen and in the description but yeah like that's pretty much my main inspiration for this and i had another thing in mind but i didn't even practice that one because i knew i wanted to do this this constructed idea
so here I'm uh, uh, just practicing the circle and I knew it wasn't gonna be as crisp as the tattoos look but I was just practicing like better techniques on how to do like the perfect circle I kind of felt like Squidward in that episode making the circle <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much what I was doing and I feel my sketchbooks I don't show it here but I feel like that page of like just circles just like a madman and here I just do that one first because I didn't want to draw the whole thing and then ruin it with the circle like I was gonna be really mad so I just decided to do the circle first and then the the blueberry later but um i do add some extra thick lines at the end but those were a lot easier but this one since it was gonna be the circle i just wanted to do it first and get it out of the way basically
So here's where I started thinking that um, maybe just one of the the gallon is not enough. So I do a couple of more throughout the the drawing, and I really like how that turned out. Um, I think it was a pretty good idea. And at the end of the day, that's how it ended up looking. Alright, so time to show you the final result. So this is what it looks like. Um, I had a lot of fun working on this. I never tried this style before. And like I said earlier, are you gonna do a painting or something? But probably not this busy. But yeah, I really like this one. And I don't think I showed you the sticker at the beginning. So here it is. And I'm gonna put it right here on camera. If I can get it. Here we go. So I just need to decide where. I already took a picture of it without it. So there's that. They're right here. They're right here. Yay, so here it is. Ah, uh, sorry, I got a phone call. <laughs> so, the, I don't know if the camera looks the same. I hope it does. Uh, but yeah, I ended up using all of the supplies. Had no problem with any of them. I mean, it's things I've used before, except this. And for the sketch, I used uh, last month's uh, to be the what is it the general yeah the general pencil uh, and if you want to watch that video I drew a really cute bird <laughs> so check that out I'll put it up here and in the description but yeah you guys saw let me put this aside you guys saw that and like in the last video you know talking about this one I'm gonna talk about the like what I what I think of these that are from the last video, well from the last box, and I'll say if I buy them again or not. So the wash uh, definitely will try again. We'll buy more if uh, I have any, if there's like a sale or or if I just see wash available, I'll probably I'll probably buy it because I really like how it how it turned out um, I like the the matte finish that it gives the painting and I know I said that I was gonna research how to <laughs> how to use it but I didn't I just pr I pretty much used it like watercolor especially because this wash is really thick so if I used it just like that it was like it wouldn't spread that easily but with the water it was a lot easier but not a lot of water because then it looks really i don't know i didn't like the look it looked really ugly so it's like the right right amount you know the right balance of it uh so wash definitely will get again this little brush which was the king art you know it has this little swoop a little you know little hairstyle that it has right here uh, I didn't much care for, and I know that it says on the thing that it's like for waves and things like that, but I usually don't do that in my art. I mean, so maybe when I actually am painting like an ocean or whatever, I'll use it, but I probably wouldn't wouldn't get it again. And the pencil, it's a good old pencil, a 2B classic nothing super exciting about it nothing bad about it just a good solid pencil that and you know like i've mentioned before i have tons of pencils that i've gotten throughout the years plus what i get sent from from art snacks as well so but you know if i don't have any pencils would i get that again yeah like if i see it i'll probably get it again so out of april's box I will buy again 70% of it. 
75% of it, the uh, meth. So I think it's a pretty good ratio. And yeah, this box, like I said, I played with it this whole month. So I got a feel of what it, it was like. And the next month I'm probably gonna, you know, I'm gonna keep using the supplies that I got today throughout the month to see how I'm digging it. I don't know if I'm gonna use the the bold um, marker a lot, because you know it's a little crazy. But I am planning on if I want to do that illustration, I'm planning on using this. So yeah, follow me on on Instagram so you guys can check that out of any future art that I do with this. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Uh, again, this is the art of the month. So I hope you you guys enjoyed this video. Um, tell me what you think. If you guys got the the art snacks plus, tell me if it's worth it. If I should get it. Sorry, I'm just done something real quick. Like, <laughs> so yeah, if it's worth it. Right now they have like a sale, like 50% off I think I saw, but I don't know. Their shipping's still $10, I don't know if I want to do all that. But yeah, tell me what you think, if you liked it, if you didn't. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you next month with this. Next video, it's probably gonna be a journaling one. A mini journal, to be exact. So look out for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.